A referendum within next 30 days? Mahindananda's accusation of inadequate media coverage. SLPP majority to support Ranil. Kariawasam Alona now. Sajith is now in the lead. AKD, Lalkantha in Kandy look for Lohan. The leader, Deshita Magakiana, Prorti Pelagasma. A referendum within next 30 days? Yesterday, the Election Commission gets the authority to make necessary arrangements and hold the presidential polls this year. On 16th, Election Chief RMAL Ratnayake said the election cannot be announced on 17th of July itself. The election could take place only after 17th of September. Explaining matters, he said it could be conducted between 14th September and 16th October. Anyway, the election date and nomination dates will be announced before the end of this month, he told journalists. Preliminary arrangements are already underway, he added. Chanda Vimasima Pavatumata Nimito Tiene, September Mase Dahat Tunidat, October Mase Dase Vinidat, Atara Dine. Etogota E Dine Api Ganna Gote, Mulimatina make Kare Palamine Katamai, Janadi Pati Verene, Chanda Vimasim, then Nima Nikut. E Chanda Vimasim, then Nima Nikutkarana Dine Sita, Dina Daseat, Dina Visekat, Atara Dineke, Janadi Pati Verena Chanda Vimasim Sandha, Nama Yojana Baraganima, Sidukarando. Edine. Namayojana Baragani may Dine Sita, Sati Hatara, Sati Hayat Tatra Dineke, Janati Pativerne, Chanda Yusima, Pati Yutu. Mea Kari Tamai, Anduka Mustavi, Sandaham Vinne, Janati Pativerne, Pati Mapilva. An hour or two later, news alerts started pouring in with various claims. The Twenty Second Amendment will be tabled in Parliament. Cabinet approves the constitutional clause on President's term. A referendum will take place within 30 days, they said. At the ministers' meeting on 09th of July, approval was given to replace the more than six years with more than five years in Clause 83B of the Constitution. Once gazetted, the amendment will be tabled in Parliament, said the government. The collective of lawyers, in a statement, says the President can tell the Election Commission to hold a referendum on the 22nd Amendment. It will give the country burdens of two elections, it says. The proposed amendment is an attempt to take the election process to further crisis, the lawyer's collective warns. Soon after, SLPPs Basil, Namal and Kariawasam were seen at the Election Commission. They told the media later that they requested no postponement of the election for any reason. Namal said they would not support if the matter of the President's term is brought up in Parliament. Indications are that it is a cheap teledrama being enacted. With the election near at hand, the public focus changed from Piumi Hansamali, Club Wasanta, etc. All these could be a strategic plan by the foreigners advising Ranil, some suspect. We cannot say if that has any grounds. Leader TV doesn't say things unknown. Mahindananda's accusation of inadequate media coverage. Mahindananda organised the second in the Ekwa Jayagamu series of rallies in Kandy last Sunday. Nearly 30 SLPP MPs were in attendance, in addition to big crowds. However, organisers were not happy with the media coverage and propaganda aspects. It all came out at Ranil's campaign committee meeting on the following day. We brought you what happened there. Here's some more. Mahindananda told the committee that around 30 SLPP MPs attended the Candy Rally and that 15 independents were present at the one in Badula. The rallies could have been a good opportunity to show to the country that the president has the backing of a SLPP majority, he noted. However, nothing about these rallies were carried in the media. When Kanchana agreed with him, Sagala and Wajira said such shortcomings should immediately be rectified. Information Director General Dinith Chintaka raised the practical issues. Sagala summoned the president's media chief Danushka Ramanayake to the meeting. We were prepared to cover this. But we were told from the top not to get involved, he explained. Another meeting on the matter happened at the media centre at Loris Road, Bambalapitiya, yesterday. It was decided there to hand over media aspects of the rallies to the President's media division. Deanith became concerned and said the task was given to the outside because the President thought it was not proper for the PMD to get involved in political meetings. 
Kanchana said, in an amicable tone, that all of them are one and that they can go forward if they work in unity. SLPP majority to support Ranil. Kariawasam alone are now. Minister Prasanna says a majority of the MPs left in the SLPP has decided to support Ranil. If that support does not come as a party, he says he is even prepared to do so personally. He says he sees no other candidate except Ranil. A minority, including General Secretary Kariawasam, wants the party to field its own candidate. Even former local government members want them to support the president, Prasanna told Hiru TV. But, Namal thinks otherwise. In a Facebook post, his advisor Iranda Jinij explains the stance of the SLPP national organiser. Namal thinks a person who agrees with the SLPP's values and respects the supporters' dignity should be the candidate. That candidate should accept the value of the motherland, cultural qualities, feels the common people and acknowledges modern technological knowledge, says Ginniger. He echoes what Namal said a couple of weeks ago. But his followers were worried that a divided SLPP will allow AKD to become the president and that they will be finished. The matter was discussed seriously when a few of them met for drinks at Monarch Imperial just days ago. We were fearing Anura. Now Sajith is said to be in the lead. We gain nothing if either Sajith or even Ranil wins. We want to make Namal the opposition leader. The real game is in 2029. By then all the others will be finished, said a backbencher. When another inquired who their candidate could be, several said in one voice that they had Damika. But they wonder if that one will accept it if Sajith, AKD and Ranil all contest. Damika has been saying that he will not contest without consent by all in the government. So will Namal take up the challenge if he doesn't? Sajith is now in the lead. Now various forces and individuals are rallying round Sajith. In the north he claims Sumanthiran, Siddharthan and Adaikalanathan. Hakim and Risath are there for him in the east. It is no different in the south either. They are coming in their numbers. On 16th, a team from Diaseri's Humane People's Alliance met SJB General Secretary Maduma Bandara at number 30. Mujibur, Senasinke and Lucky too were there. Diaseri didn't come, but he coordinated the meeting along with Lucky. Comprising 27 parties, organisations and trade unions, that alliance extended its support to Sajith. They gave voice cuts to the effect that Sajith is the only present-day politician who treats all communities and religions alike as the leader after the people's heart. At the launch of that alliance on 20 the March, Maduma Bandara, NFF's Wirawansa, PHU's Gamanpila, Digambaram of the TPA, were among those present. Diasiri told the gathering that they would support the party that aligns with their policies. Anyway, he says he has no intention of joining with the SJB as yet. First of all, we need to take control of the SLFP. Our support at the presidential election will be decided once nominations are called, he says. So Diasiri is caught between two worlds. If he joins the SJB now, he is sure of becoming an electoral organiser, but loses power of the SLFP. If he bides time until gaining the SLFP, he will have to share an electorate as a co-organiser. That will affect him at a general election. AKD, Lalkantha, in Kandy, look for Lohan. While in Kandy for a public rally, on 16th, NPP Chief AKD took a jibe at Lohan. To jeers by all, he inquired if that one is there. A few days earlier, the State Minister told the media that he too would go to watch the MPP meeting. AKD was responding to Lohan, who told a rally in Kandy on Sunday that he would not allow AKD to be the president as long as he was in politics. Knowing the man, some took it seriously, and posts were shared in social media that it was a death threat made to Comrade Anura. Lalkantha, too, ridiculed Lohan over his remark. Lohan, you are mad. You should live to see Comrade Anura become the president, he sneered. Such is the reaction of the NPP now. They don't seem to let go anything to up the morale of its cadre. Sajith and Ranil don't lag any behind either. They too play all tricks they know to gain the upper hand. Things have developed to a situation in which none could think of a second chance. That's it for today. The leader, Deshita Magakiana, Pro Tipelagasma.